How's it going guys? I'm Manny the Phenom here to do a review of the Silver Surfer collection, epic collection. It's called the Thanos Quest. I, my last video I did the Rebirth of Thanos, so this is in chrono chronological order. This is next up. We and This one ended with um, Thanos getting all the, the gems. Um, he, 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 he got rid- he distracted- he- well everyone thinks that Thanos is dead, so Silver Surfer fought Thanos and Thanos' skeleton was left, but he, Thanos faked his death, that was just a, a replica skeleton, so Silver Surfer thinks Thanos is dead, so Thanos went off to collect the gems, and Silver Surfer went on to do his own thing as well, thinking Thanos is dead. Um... So this is by Jim Starlin. Jim Starlin took over the, the Silver Surfer character. Uh, well, there's other writers in this book, but a lot of it's Jim Starlin. I love Jim Starlin. Probably my favorite, co favorite comic book writer. Uh, also a great artist too, but Ron Lynn did a, did a, a, a lot of the Thanos Silver Oh, he did this, right? Ron, Ron Lynn pencils. Yeah, Ron Lynn is just a freaking beast. I want to go over this first story. This is a really interesting story. Uh, this is in the early 90s. Um, I was very surprised by the amount of death and killing in this freaking comic because this is Marvel in the 90s. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know it was it was so rated R. So Silver Surfer is flying through the city. I, um, don't remember. Oh, I think he goes to tell Captain America that Thanos is dead. And um, then you then the uh, side story. Somehow there's this uh, creature, and he goes to this hospital bed, and uh, he kills this guy in, in the bed. Uh, nurse is like, "What the heck is going on? Look at this drawing, dude. Look at this drawing." I got cleared up a bit. <clears throat> Ron Ron Lim is just a freaking beast. All the all the detail, man. The deformity. If you look at him, it kind of looks normal, right? Very douche. Just disgusting. All the hatching. <clears throat> uh, the inker did a great job as well. The hair, the, ha the hair on the side here, just awesome, awesome drawing. All right, so this guy just starts going on a killing spree. He feeds on life forms, and for for whatever reason, he just can't get enough. He popped out of nowhere. I don't know where he's from. Don't know his history, but he just popped in this hospital. Uh, he killed someone that he apparently knew, and then he just starts killing everyone else. He kills his nurse, um, just blood splattering, and then he shoots out this door, kills everyone here, and just look how disgusting this is, man. Just, it reminds me of, um, what's that Japanese classic movie? Something with an A. Oh, Akira, that's what it's called, Akira, it took me a couple minutes, but he just starts killing all these innocent nurses, people just doing their job, these patients, just, everyone's freaking dead, this old guy, dead, 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 and then Nick Fury just calls um, Mr. Fantastic on his private uh, number or whatever, it's like, hey, I lost track of this one dude, Can you, uh, last time I saw him he was in your area, can you just check it out? He's like, yeah, I'll do it. And he's like, don't use this channel again. Like, Mr. Fantastic got a little serious there. Like, don't call me on this channel again. It's private. Uh, so Silver Surfer's leaving. He's, got, he's leaving. Um, this is just disgusting. Ronald M did a great job drawing this. Jim Sterling loves to kill. He, he, he loves death. But it makes it interesting, I gotta tell you. So the building crushes her dog. Dog is dead. And this, this horrible, disgusting creature pops out and um, just starts wreaking havoc, havoc and then she uh, she runs, but um, dog's dead and I'm pretty sure she's going to die soon as well. This creature just grabbing people, lifting them up. He's calling for help and it comes inside the freaking vehicle and um, Mr. Fantastic is hearing all of this and just everyone's dying. Um, probably nothing wrong. Thanks, Nick. That's what, uh, Nick Fury said to him. Probably nothing. Just check it out for me, please. So he gets on the jet. He flies over there. Silver Surfer 
Excuse me. They have a lot of history together. Because when Galactus came to eat the Earth, the Fantastic Four, with the help of Silver Surfer, stopped him. And um, Reed Richards just asked him for help. Um, so this creature's been killing everyone. Uh, now he's killing these freaking blue collar workers. Just trying to make a living, pay for the bills, support their children. It starts eating all the uh, people, and then it goes in the water. So the is asking, like, what's going on? Where did it go? Which he should know where it went. He has cosmic awareness. So, um, I would think he would be able to sense such a huge monster eating all that, and all that energy. <clears throat> so, this is a real problem, because there's so much life in the ocean. And if this creature starts eating everything in the ocean, he's going to become massive. So, they're just they're starting to freak out. And then it's bubbling. It's starting to come back. I guess he senses Silver Server's Silver, Silver, Silver energy. And uh, I love this. You just see the bubbles rippling. I love the little the black dots here. I'm sorry this is blurry. I don't know why it's blurry. But good drawing. And then it starts coming out. This is like really um, cinematic. I can imagine this in the movie. Just how, how this is happening. I love this. Look at this. How disgusting. And I guess these are all people he's eaten. All the souls he's taken. Just disgusting. This is a great shot too. They're up top and it's coming down down and coming at them through the page. And the tentacles are going out the page. Takes the, takes the ship, um, then it gets back onto shore. Still eating people, I believe. Chopping, but it's not, it's regrowing. Like this thing is unstoppable. Unstoppable. Then Silver Surfer gets the idea, like, all right, I'm not gonna beat it this way. There's only one thing to do. So he lets this thing eat him, <laughs> At, and when he ate the Silver Surfer or absorbed him, this thing is still going, eating people as Silver Surfer is inside of him. And then uh, this energy goes off, and then it's lifted up. Silver Surfer takes this monster into space, and then boom, skyrockets out of him. This is the really interesting part, guys. This is why I brought this up. This deals with Silver Surfer's morality and just really great writing by by Jin Starlin. It really this really absorbed me, wrapped me in into the story and I was like I was thinking uh, like what would I do in this situation? Here's the situation. This guy comes out of this monster. He's like kill me. I don't want to be this. This thing is taking over me. I did not I was not um I was not controlling it. Please kill me. Now. Do it. And um, Silver Surfer was about to kill it. Kill this monster until this guy's face comes out. Now Silver Surfer is like, I can't kill an innocent person. It's like drowning every minute of your life. My God. What is done to me? You can't imagine the pain. The horror. Please. He's begging Silver Surfer. Kill him. Tell me how to free you, I shall separate you from the creature. But that's not possible. Silver Surfer wants to help this guy, but he, but without killing him. And you can't. The guy's begging him. And it's absolute, it's, it's torture. He's like, it's, he's not alive, he's not dead. He, but but he's, uh, he's in this creature, like a pur purgatory. He's just, it's absolute horror. And I can't. No, you must. This, this is a living hell. The purgatory is worse than death. The creature won't ever die. I'll be here for eternity. The creature will live forever. Only you can set me free. Like, this is... Oh, my God. This is... Silver Surfer is his last hope. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm not that cold-blooded. Life means too much to me. I'm truly sorry. And he freaking leaves. What the heck? Dude, sometimes you need to... Rethink things, man. If life's so precious to you, then you would kill this man because he's not living. That made no sense. This is really dark, and he just left them there. 
I shall forever wonder which is the wor- is- is the wor- wait. The answer is that I am a silver surfer and must be true to myself. It is a realization that will haunt me for the rest of my days. I shall forever wonder which is the wor- is the more despicable monster. Be true to myself? This guy is living in hell. Screw yourself. Save him. Just look at this. The abomination on the planet below or the righteous man who left him to suffer such a fate. And what if this thing gets off this planet? And what if someone else comes to this planet and is killed by this guy? Like Silver Surfer is responsible for this. If this thing gets off the planet, he can take over another planet just by eating everyone. And he'll keep growing. Like Silver Surfer really dropped the ball on this one. This is interesting. This guy comes to this innocent planet and he kills everybody just because he can, because he felt like it. Silver Surfer goes. He, 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 he wants to chill out this planet and see the, these innocent creatures. He knows them. He's going to take a break from life. And then he sees what insanity is this? Everyone's dead. What, is, what has happened here? What killed the Elowin? Oh, they ingested the petals of the Vigen plant and fatal failed to them, you know? But why? What could cause so many to commit suicide? I told them to. You must be mad. That would make you a mass murderer of unthinkable proportions. I suppose so. By the stars, you speak of the truth. How many are dead? All of them. You slew an entire race? What manner of monster are you? And you did it just because you can. So, so Silver Surfer is pissed. He's about to freaking wreck this dude. This guy's like, let's go. Let's do this shiny guy. He thinks he can take the Silver Surfer. Da da. A little battling. Good action. Ba da 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 da. Um, his shield is absorbing energy, so Silver Surfer just hits him with even more power. His shield can't take it. And then, uh, whammy. Kills the guy. And then he sets uh, all the bodies on fire, the burial, and he's off. This is the life of Silver Surfer. It's a lot of tragedy. And uh, here's that guy again. This was a weird comic. This is a weird part of the book, the fight game. Just weird art here. Um, not very well drawn, in my opinion. Um, who did? Who wrote this? I'm not sure who did the art or who wrote it. I'm not sure if they dropped the other. Doesn't say. I don't know. I, I don't know who did this, but um, it's really weird. I might be going to go over it. It was, it was really hard to get through this part. So what's up, dude? Alright, back on Titan. Silver Surfer brings the coffin to Dad, Brother, Drax. Um, so they're examining the body. Drax is like, this is not really Thanos. I can sense that he's still alive. Him and Thanos are connected. If Thanos is alive, Drax is alive. Um, if Thanos is erected... Drax is resurrected. This, this, this is, this is really interesting. So this, this alien says, "Hey, you need to come to court for this issue on this planet." Da da da. I'm, I'm not. I don't deal with that stuff. This is an interesting part of the story. Silver Surfer is flying through the universe as he dies, and this this robot come, stops him. Hey, you need to come, come speak in court uh, about this manner that you were involved with. And Silver Surfer is like, I have no, I'm not involved with your guys' laws, and that doesn't concern me. And I'm not, I'm not, uh, I don't abide by that stuff. He's like, he's beyond that. And then the guy says that Thanos left a will. So are you interested now? So Thanos follows him. It's this whole 
this crazy city of, of, of it's like a futuristic city. Um, so Christopher goes, he lo he immediately loses all his powers. The the city somehow absorbs his cosmic powers, so that way no one there has powers. So it's ran by robots who are pretty strong, and um, you can't fight them. So immediately he's like abducted and he's trying to fight back but they're too strong and they beat the crap out of him. He gets beat up a lot. So boom, he's in court. Da 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 da. He tells the story of Thanos. Or no, they read his mind, I think. And that's how they that's how he pleads with the case. But anyways, he, he's he, anyways he's innocent. And he's going to leave, but they say you need to pay a toll for for the exit tax, and he doesn't have the money for that. So again, they're trying to stop him. He tries to escape. There's no escaping. No one escapes this place. So he has he has no alternative other than to get a job, he, which is freaking hilarious. Silver Surfer trying to get a job. Pretty interesting story here. Jim Sullen writer, Ron Lim artist. Very creative, I have to say. It was weird when I first read this, but it, it, it does end up being a good story. It's just crazy Silver Surfer trying to get a job, but he, there's no way to, of escaping this floating city. And basically, he, he cannot get a job. He's too weak to carry anything. Uh, the sun is beating down on him because of his silver skin. He's just really weak. <laughs> he, has no, he has no abilities at all. He can't do any job. He doesn't know how to work a computer or anything. He's not. He doesn't. He, he's useless, uh, other than being a silver surfer. So they put him where the poor people live in these tents, and he's just trying to plot his escape. And he and he finds a way. There's a game show. Uh, they read your mind, and um, and they see what your story is, your life is. And it's for entertainment, it's a TV show, so they want entertainment, so they go through his mind to see what's going down, yada yada, very interesting story, he has quite the life, and they're supposed to pay him a lot of money, and what they do is, with taxes and fees and whatever, he ends up getting two tokens, which I think he needs like 150 or 250 to get out of there, or something like that, and they rip him off again, he tries to fight the robots. Da, da, da. So anyways, you get three strikes on this place. If you get three strikes, you're terminated, which means I'll kill you. Um, and there's nothing they can do about it. So, so Silver Surfer is about to be thrown into space. This is this is how they kill kill him. Oh, this is how they kill people, all the all the aliens. And when they throw them back into space, um. Oh, by the way, this is his friend that's with them. So they throw him into space, and Silver Surfer is like, "This is them terminating me. They put me into space." As soon as they let him go, he gets he gets his powers back. He puts like a cosmic cube around this guy so he can breathe. These robots come, but now Silver Surfer has his powers back, and like, dude, you're dead. Now again, there you have all these slaves in here. There, there, there's these people here, like the Silver Surfer. They can't escape. They can't get out. So um, he, he's gonna go to rectify the situation and, and help them escape. And this guy stops him, saying, um, um, "Dynamo City is an artificial satellite with enclosed atmosphere somewhere along the line. You're such, you're sure to breach the integrity of the whole." So a Silver Surfer starts war there. Everyone's gonna die because they won't be able to breathe. So another, another, more innocent life he's he he left hanging, which is interesting. It, it really sucks. Now the Thanos quest. The Thanos quest was also in the rebirth of Thanos. So it's interesting that they put him in both these books. So we already went through all this in the last video that you, you can you can check out my last video, Rebirth of Thanos. This is him just getting the Affinity Gems.
Silver Surfer. Jim Starlin, Ron Lim. Those are my boys. So Silver Surfer is examining the skeleton. Jackson insists that that is not Thanos. And boy, look, um, Thanos opens up a portal, sucks Drax and, Th and Silver Surfer, and they now know he's alive. Drax goes immediately after him. Drax's only purpose of living is to kill Thanos. That's his only purpose. That's why he was created. Um, but Thanos has the Infinity Gauntlet, and there's nothing these guys can do. Then he puts Drax, he warps his soul or his mind and pins him against Silver Surfer, but he ends up absorbing these guys and putting them in the Soul Gem. Now they're out of the picture. This, this I love this freaking drawing here. I don't know too much about this guy, but he's just, he's a cool character. He just looks like a mysterious, like powerful dude. So he has my interest. Mephisto, Mephisto is watching from a distance. He realizes that Thanos has the Infinity Gauntlet and uh, he needs to start plotting. In the rebirth of Thanos, Thanos set on fire his granddaughter, uh, Nebula. In this, in this, in these comics, he's the, she's the granddaughter. So he thought she died, but um, she's still hanging on by a thread. And um, um, he was keeping her alive. So the first thing he does is, well, he uses the power to resurrect her, but she's still dead. She's like kind of in a purgatory. She's in a lot of pain. She can't do anything, but he gave her the ability to like walk around and kind of like live in this living hell, this form. She just burned to a crisp. And this guy, he immediately kills for trying to save her. And there's Mephisto, trying to strike a bargain. He, he, he's pleading with Thanos to have, for him to be like his right hand man. He wants to work under Thanos, but his real plan is to get that gauntlet off of him. So it's just awesome stuff, awesome writing here, awesome artwork. Like how beautiful is this, guys? Love this. Love the flames here. Love it. Love it. Love it. Beautiful drawing by Raw Lim. And just the dialect, the dialogue, Jim Starlin, just amazing. Just so interesting to hear these. To, to see what how these guys speak to each other, these just these powerful freaking monsters here. It's amazing that because they're both super intelligent. They're both they're both mischievous, and it's just interesting to see the mind games. Silver Surfer, here's Adam Warlock to return. They're both they're these guys got put into the Soul Gym, and there they meet Gamora. Gamora's chilling out in there. Adam Warlock is in there. Da 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 da. -da. And um, yeah, so Adam Warlock ends up sending these guys back. Silver Surfer explains that Thanos has the Infinity Gauntlet. Adam Warlock is aware. Adam Warlock realizes that he's going to need to come out of the Soul Gem soon because he, he can't just stand by and let all this happen. So he sends the, these two out back out and um, going back after Thanos. Silver Surfer ends up going to Galactus. Really interesting story here. More awesome writing and character development uh, by Jim Starlin for Silver Surfer. Apparently, when Galactus made Silver Surfer his herald, Galactus took a piece of Silver Surfer away. Silver Surfer killed many people, leading Galactus to these planets. So. I guess Galactus took his empathy away or his guilt away. He banished that from, from Silver Surfer feeling that. And Silver Surfer's like, give me that back. I want. And, and, that, and Galactus is warning him, man. You don't want this. And he's like, as you wish. I'll do it, man. And then the guilt starts coming after him at Silver Surfer. And um, he's just drowning in all the blood. And Galactus is like, Norn Rad, awaken. He pulls him out of it. So Silver Surfer has to come to terms with all the people he 
you, you help kill and uh, accept that that was that's a part of him. And Thanos, Silver Surfer leaves. Thanos pops up, it pretty much just warning Galactus, like I guess stay out of my way or I'll end you. No one talks to the Galactus that way. So you have some more side stories. Silver Surfer flying through the universe. Thanos is watching. Just beautiful, beautiful art. Uh, Thanos takes this monkey creature, turns into a monster. I think Silver Surfer is heading to Earth. And um, Thanos is just slowing him down. So he, he attacks him with this monster. And Silver Surfer fights him off. He can't fight him off. He's really powerful. And then um, <clears throat> he turns back into the little creature. Look at this. That's the little creature that was the monster, this innocent creature. Then I'll squashes him. This is this is the Thanos was turned into stone, so this is the stone that was left over. Adam Warlock turned into, turned, turned into stone. So, um, with the Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos takes over this stone character of him. And he goes to attack um, Silver Surfer. Da -da -da -da. You can't beat the stone because it is controlled by the Infinity Gauntlet. Right here, Thanos is going through... Silver Surfer's mind, I believe. And this is Silver Surfer. No one around as a kid. His dad ended up... He's just playing mind games. He's, he's physically beating this guy and then mentally beating him, guys. So he's just playing mind games with Silver Surfer. Um, his dad was a great scientist and inventor. But um, he ended up... His dad ended up committing suicide for reasons... Um, for stealing someone's invention or something like that. And then he was like... A laughing stock of society or whatever. He was shunned. Not the laughing stock, but he was looked down upon and then his son was really disappointed in him. So his dad ended up committing suicide. Um, boom, board comes. He thinks he defeated Thanos, but nope, he comes together. Uh, I love like the, the wind here or the dust. It shows that the things are contracting and coming together. His dad shot himself in the head. So Thanos, uh, Silver Surfer still fighting off this stoned Thanos. The head's talking here. Um, but Silver Surfer is really weak. Silver Surfer's really weak from the battle. He's, he's mentally and physically weak, but he's still trying to get to Earth. So he he's going to Earth, but it falls off his board and crashes into Doctor Strange's house. And this is when uh, the Affinity War picks up. You, um, you see in the movie that Hulk is the one that crashes into Doctor Strange's house, but it's really Silver Surfer from the comics. And um, yeah, it ends there. Um, the next... It ends here, and then Silver Surfer... And the next book is the Infinity Gauntlet series collection, so... Silver Surfer ends up waking up and warning Doctor Strange about what's going on, and then uh, Doctor Strange gets a hold of the Avengers, and yada yada, maybe you know the story, maybe you don't, um, but uh, yeah, the Avengers go into the universe, go out in the universe, they seek out Thanos, try to fight him, and Thanos just wipes them all clean, and then Adam Warlock has to come back from the Soul Gem and end up fighting Thanos. Interesting stuff. This has been my second comic book review. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm still trying to figure out 
how I'm going to be doing this. I know it's really long-winded to go through every single issue. Uh, last video I did, I went, I went into more detail. But this one I kind of skimmed more because it's just, the video is really long and it's just, I don't know, I'm not really good at, I'm not really good at kind of sitting there and going through all the dialogue and whatever. It's a lot of work. But let me know if I can make this more interesting for you guys, how I can make these better. Um, please leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what I did, if what I did was, was good, if I should go into more detail, if I should go faster, skip over more, if I should show more of the artwork and focus more on the art. Let's just, any, any kind of tips or, or uh, tips or any kind of advice you guys got, uh, let me know. This was the Thanos Quest. Thank you for watching, guys. Appreciate you. Thank you very much again. And until um, next time, Phenom out.